Say I wanted to have my canvas finished as a pillow instead. I would go into the Ship in Your Project tab on the website and print out the pillow form. Just like on any other form, uh, you're going to want to fill out the information box at the top with your name, address, best phone number to reach you at, and email. And then you would move down to the project description, which again is just a specific description of what the canvas is. In my case, red flowers and blue vase. And then indicate the number of waste ribs. For my canvas, uh, I'm going to indicate one. Now I'm going to determine the size of my fabric frame. I'm thinking that I'd like to have it about a two inch border around my canvas. So I would add two, about two inches to each side of the canvas. So the canvas that was once a four and a half by five inches would now be eight and a half by nine. And I would multiply the two numbers to get the square inches, which is 76.5 inches. And that would fall under the small category. So I would check that off and make a note of those measurements. So now that I have my square inches measured for my fabric frame and canvas, I'm going to switch back to the first page. And here I'll be able to determine what size the canvas will be and what cording I would like. Our finishing department offers two different types of cording for pillows. The first being self-cording, also known as piping or self-welt, which is cotton piping covered in fabric. The second option is hand-twisted cording, which is the cording we hand-twist in-house, like we do for our ornaments. You can see examples of these two different types of cording by referencing the materials guide on our website. For my pillow, I'm thinking that I will do self-cording. Keep in mind the square inches that I calculated on the second page, which was 76.5, and check off the size category. Now I'm going to select the fabric for my self-cording. I'm going to reference the materials guide again on the website to see all of the available fabrics. Velvet and cotton tool are included in the cost, while silk and any designer fabrics are an additional cost. For my particular project, I'm going to choose the navy velvet and write it down right below the self-cording. I will also write down this choice on the second page for my fabric frame. So now I'll move on to the backing fabric, which is on the second page, right below specialty cording. I'll refer to the materials guide again and choose my fabric. In this case, I'm going to keep it simple once again and just select velvet and write navy. If none of the fabrics available on the website seem to fancy your interest, you can also include the fabric uh, with your canvas in the Ziploc bag. And you can check off the customer will provide fabric option. As with, an, as with any other piece, you have the option of having your initials or a message or a year embroidered on your pillow. You can choose the placement of your embroidery, whether it be the center or bottom right corner, or whichever you would prefer. And you would list that here under the exact copy of the message or initials that you would like. And the embroider embroidery would look like this. Fonts are available, again, under the materials guide. The notes section right below it is for any general special instructions you may have. Um, so for example, if you wanted your pillow to be a little understuffed, this is where you would make a note of it. Now onto the very last page where you will find all of these fun additions, if you so choose to add these to your piece. Um, we've already decided the size of the frame 
and the style, which again was mitered frame. Um, I'm going to make my frame's fabric be the navy velvet, just like my back and self cording. Most pillows are standard knife edge, like this. However, you also have the option of having your pillow finished as a box edge, like this. And you can indicate that on the form to the very far right on the top. I can choose to add ruching to my pillow, whether it be on the gusset, on the fabric frame, or on the back. There's also an option for a ruffle, which I think I will do for my pillow. I will go into the materials guide and look at the thin fabrics for this, as they will translate a little bit better than fabrics like velvet and cotton. Um, so the two options would be thin cotton or silk. If none of those, those fabrics seem to work well for me, uh, I might consider purchasing a, a thin cotton fabric, maybe a fun print to add. All right, so you also have the option of adding a zipper, uh, which includes a flange to cover the zipper right here, and a custom form to fit your pillow. Standard filling for most of our pillows is polyfill, which is a polyester fiber stuffing. However, you can also request a down insert, which is feather. Uh, pricing for this will depend on the size of the pillow as it is custom ordered. And that's it. Once you reviewed this section and completed the form, uh, go ahead and sign and date. And then just make sure to double check your sizing. Review backing, embroidery or any special notes and all of your personal information. And you'll be ready to send your piece.